Okay, in this video we're going to uh, consider simplifying powers where the exponent in the power is um, an integer. So recall that an integer can be a positive whole number, uh, like one or two or three. Uh, so those are the counting numbers or the natural numbers, so the integers include the natural numbers. Uh, but integers can also include zero and the um, negatives of the positive whole numbers. So numbers like minus three, minus two, minus one, uh, these also count uh, as integers. Now, the problem with uh, <coughs> simplifying uh, powers uh, where the exponent is an integer is um, the rules for integer exponents uh, are not uh, completely intuitive. And so um, uh, students have to memorize them, and they're easy to forget uh, because students don't work with um, integer exponents that often. And so um, uh, integer exponents can often cause problems for uh, students. So let's take a look at um, some examples here, uh, starting with uh, example A. So suppose we want to simplify uh, 10 uh, to the zeroth power. So um, in this power, 10 is the base and 0 is um, the exponent. So what does it mean to raise uh, that base 10 to the zeroth power? So if, now if we're raising 10 to a um, uh, natural number power, a positive whole number power, uh, that's fairly easy for students to remember how to simplify an expression like that. So suppose we want to take 10 and raise it uh, to the third power. Well. Mm -hmm. Uh, we know that uh, to simplify this expression, we just have to remember that that exponent is telling us uh, that we want to use the base 10 uh, as a factor of three times. So we know that 10 to the third power 10 cubed, uh, we can rewrite that as 10 times 10 times 10, where we use 10 as a factor of three times. And then, of course, we just have to compute this product, and that gives us uh, 1,000. So that's uh, uh, fairly easy uh, for students to remember how to simplify um, uh, powers where uh, the exponent is a uh, positive whole number, is a natural number, because in that case the exponent just tells us how many times to use the base as a factor. But on the other hand, suppose we want to uh, simplify 10 to the uh, zeroth power. Okay, So 0 is an integer, so here we have uh, a base raised to uh, an integer power. So how do we simplify that expression? Well, um, this is simply a rule that you're going to have to remember um, about uh, the uh, exponent zero. So if you, uh, anytime you raise a base uh, to the zero power, as long as the base itself is not zero, uh, then that's always going to result uh, in one. So a um, student just needs to remember, uh, memorize there that, uh, again, uh, when you raise a base, uh, non-zero base, uh, to the zeroth power, uh, that always simplifies to 1. So 10 to the zeroth power, uh, that's going to simplify uh, to 1. Now there's good mathematical reasons why raising a base to the zeroth power should be equal 1. Um, this is not just invented out of thin air, uh, but we're not going to discuss those reasons uh, in this short video uh, clip. All right, now let's look at example B. Suppose we want to uh, simplify minus 10 uh, to the zeroth power. So at first blush, that looks very much like um, uh, raising 10 to the zeroth power. Um, student often thinks here that the base is minus 10, and uh, minus 10 is not zero. So if we take the base minus 10 and raise that to the zeroth power, um, a student will often uh, give the result there as one. However, uh, there's one uh, a fact here about order of operations that you need to keep in mind in simplifying this expression. Um, unless the base uh, uh, is enclosed in parentheses, uh, this minus sign uh, is not uh, part of the power. So what this really means is 10 raised to the zeroth power, and then uh, we would change the sign or we would take the negative of that. So uh, the proper way to simplify this is to take 10 and raise it to the zeroth power. Of course, that gives us 1, as we learned back in example A, and then uh, take the negative of that. So the result. Um, turns out to be minus 1, not uh, positive 1. Um, if you wanted the uh, exponent 0 also to apply to the minus sign, in other words, if you didn't want to take the number negative 10 and raise it to the 0th power, you would have to enclose uh, that uh, 
minus sign in parentheses. So it is true that negative 10 raised to the zeroth power, since negative 10 is not equal to zero, um, that is going to simplify uh, to one. Uh, but without the parentheses, the expression simplifies uh, slightly differently. Okay, let's look at our next example now. So I'm gonna scroll up a little bit here, uh, but not too much. Suppose we wanna raise uh, the base 10 to the minus one power, okay? So again, minus one is an integer, but it's not a natural number. It's not a positive whole number. So how do we simplify this expression? How do we interpret uh, 10 to the minus one power? So that's uh, the second rule for um, integer exponents that we need to memorize, because again, it's not gonna be completely intuitive and it's gonna be easy to forget. Um, if you wanna raise a base to a negative integer power, uh, the way you can simplify that is by simply taking the reciprocal of the base and uh, changing the exponent to uh, a positive whole number, to a positive integer power. So if we want to simplify uh, 10 raised to the minus 1 power, uh, that's going to be the same as 1 over 10 uh, to the first power, or in other words, just uh, 1 tenth. Now, um, when students are uh, trying to evaluate this expression and they're doing it mistakenly, they often think 10 to the minus one power, that has to result in a negative quantity, okay? But that's not true. Notice that 10 to the minus one power comes out to be positive one tenth. The sign of the exponent and the sign of the base are independent of one another. So uh, don't think that uh, uh, raising 10 to the minus one power is the same as multiplying 10 times minus one. Of course, 10 times minus one would be negative 10 uh, but um, uh, this is not multiplication, uh, this is a power. So uh, let's look at example D. How do we simplify three to the minus two power? Well, again, remember uh, when you're raising a base to a negative integer power, minus two is a negative integer, then you simply take the reciprocal of the base and make that um, negative integer into uh, a positive whole number power. So three to the minus two is the same as one over three two, uh, to the second power or one over three squared. Of course, now you know how to simplify three squared. That's gonna be three times three because that positive integer exponent tells us to use three as a factor twice. And of course, um, three times three is nine. So three to the minus two, we can simplify that to uh, one ninth. So finally, our last example here uh, in this video clip, how do we simplify five to the minus three power? Well, again, uh, we simply take the reciprocal of our base and change that negative integer exponent into a uh, positive integer exponent. So five to the minus three, we can simplify that as one over uh, five to the third power or one over five cubed. And of course, five cubed now is easy to Simplify. That just means um, use five as a factor of three times. So we have one over five times five times five. And um, if you calculate five times five times five, that turns out to be 125. So five to the minus three power simplifies as one over 125 or one 125th. By the way, now, um, uh, uh, this rule for interpreting uh, negative uh, integer exponents, we can apply that in reverse. So uh, if you wanted to write uh, one, rewrite one over seven to the fifth power using a negative integer exponent, you could. One over seven to the fifth power, we could rewrite that as seven uh, to the minus five power. And again, I want you to notice um, uh, five to the minus three power does not result in a negative quantity. Again, the sign of the exponent is independent of the sign of the base. Uh, just like seven to the minus five power is one over seven to the fifth power. One over seven to the fifth power is a positive number. So the sign of the exponent, again, is independent of the sign of the uh, base.